Maybe uh, uh, if I uh, yes. correct the pro process, I'm sorry about that. If you're wrong process, I'm very sorry about that. But uh, okay, you are ready. So the title is the, on the interplay between vocal production effect and learning content party in learning settings. Okay, uh, please start. Okay, uh, my name is Professor Sophia Kun from Okayama University. So today I would like to present on the interplay between the vocal production effect and the learning content type in e-learning setting. So first, um, like the platform hosting the e-learning system like a PC or a smartphone, uh, equipped with the various features like a camera, microphone, or speaker, so which can potentially improve the learner memory registration. But however, most of the system distribute like only visual stimuli and do not receive the feedback from the user apart from some like a subjective relating. So in that respect, the law of the learner is a mostly passive in interaction with the system. So uh, this study focuses on the active involvement of the user in the e-learning process. So specifically, we consider interaction with the e-learning system to like altering like some reading around of the content. So the reason for uh, considering such an like interaction is based on like implication of concept is so called like production effect from the experimental psychology. So here is a black gown. So there are some research that like observed that material produced is like better recorded than the material merely view. So this one is called a generation effect. So the mechanism there are like hypotheses to be like underlying the production effect are in like a as an account. So in this study, we are focused on a certain kind of production that we call vocal production. So it is show that the vocal production is real again, like reading silently or spelling or hearing. And however, mouthing and whispering have a positive effect or a memory to a certain extent. So benefits of the production effect are like exploited in relation to education and learning, and it is shown to be a viable encoding strategy for education material. So in this study, we investigate the effect of different vocal production behavior on the collection rate, concerning a varying content type delivered to an e-learning platform. So in this study, we are considered two types of the content that is like numerical and verbal content. So the reason for uh, uh, distinguishing between numerical and verbal content is like lie in the fact that there are difference in their cognitive legislation process. So which has a potential to lead to the different sort of effect or the correction. So we also consider two difficulty level of verbal content that is high pronunciation difficulty and low pronunciation difficulty. So the reason for a deep breathing between two levels of pronunciation difficulty is followed directly from the very uh, requirement of the uttering the content. So when we inquired whether there is any possibility of improving the e-learning system by like integrating vocal production instruction. So like, to that end, we performed experiment with uh, six participants, and the participant uh, we give their like to study three sort of learning content following three sort of behavior instruction. So for the behavior, we are uh, separate into like feeble, mouthing, and altering. So feeble is just like a no vocal production. It's just like let them see the screen and read the screen. And mouthing is just like moving the lip without pronouncing any the tech. And alternating is leading the tech around. And as I said before, like we consider two types of the content that is numerical and verbal. So the numerical content is the word and number association. So in this case, we use the moon of the Jupiter and their label. And for the verbal content, we have a uh, 
two difficulty that is high pronunciation difficulty and low pronunciation difficulty. So in this case, we use a vocabulary pair in Japanese Danish for high pronunciation and Japanese and Spanish for low pronunciation difficulty. So the uh, Japanese and Danish is uh, represented by DK and Spanish is for ES. So the task is composed of watching the slideshow in the illustrating a set of six to eight image and they are view each image for like just five seconds. So we prepare one slideshow for each combination of vocal production behavior and learning content. So in totally we have a uh, nine set of the slideshow. So that is like free view for uh, Japanese Danish, Japanese Spanish and uh, numerical and also for Martin, Danish, Spanish, and numerical, and also authoring. So uh, the amount of the recall information was determined through a conventional like pen and paper memory test. So it's just like we let them write out what they can remember from the slideshow in the paper. So and how to know like the set of vocabulary that we are uh, prepare are uh, in the same level for the same language and different for the other language. So we let the participant evaluate the difficulty of each foreign language word in the data set on a like five level liquid scale like five is difficult and one is easy. In order to confirm that there is no significant variation within the set related to the same language. And there is a significant difference between the set relating to the different language. So that the latter does not have any dependence on the source of vocal production behavior. So we also carry out the uh, statis statistical analysis on this subjective evaluation. So here is the result uh, shown on the box plot. Uh, for the figure A is for Danish and B is for Spanish and figure C is the comparison between uh, Spanish and Danish. So let's take a look, take a look to the figure C that we can see like the orange one is like uh, have a higher evaluation than the blue one. So this can say like the Denmark is uh, harder than the Spanish. And the evaluation do not depend much on the vocal production type. So like in figure A and B, they are like almost like same uh, evaluation for all content, for all vocal type. So we also calculate the ANOVA to confirm this result. So in the first box of the table, the p-value related to the uh, Danish and Spanish with the different vocal production are like 0 0.3 and 0 0.6, which indicate insignificant. So in this case, we can see like uh, among the different vocal production, they are not different here. And for any vocal production behavior, the evaluation of DK and ES are different in statistically significant way. So here there are like a significant difference between like Danish and Spanish. So after we confirm the difficulty of uh, our data set, we let take a look into the memory test uh, result and recollection date. So firstly, we focus on each content type separately and investigate the effect difference vocal production behavior. So for uh, uh, figure three is a block part of the recollection layer in percentage. So the figure A is for uh, Danish and Japanese. So B is for Spanish and Japanese and C is for numerical content. So it can see like in figure A and B, the blue one, is like that is the female has often an advantage over other two kind of behavior and in addition regarding to the uh, Spanish vocal production behavior of the outing induced an unexpected drawback like this one uh, this green one is a little bit lower when compared to like other 
two case. So here we also compute the underwater to relating to the recollection rate. So in the table two, the p value related to the above mentioned three case are like lower, and the v view and the another two case are like regarded to be different in statistically significant way. So from when we see the p-value here, we can understand from that different vocal production behavior do not induce any effect in statistically significant way for any content type. So next we care only the type of the content. So uh, the figure is a block plot of the, for the recollection rate in percentage again. So A is for free view, B is for mounting, and C is for altering. So the blue one is the numerical content type, the orange one is like uh, Spanish, and the green one is for Danish. So even though like the DK, like Danish, is confirmed to be like hard to pronounce, but it is not suffer from that in terms of the collection. So coupled with the vocal production behavior of fee view and altering in like figure A and figure C, so DK or Danish turn out to be a recall more than other two content types. So here the green one is uh, like have a very higher recollection rate when compared to the orange one and the blue one. So from that, we can say that content type do not induce any effect in statistically significant way for view and mounting behavior. But however, for the alternate DK or Danish is recorded the best in statistically significant way. So then we yeah, look into the overall of the result. So for uh, uh, overall of the content type in figure A, the free view attend at the highest and the elderly is attend at the lowest performance. So here we can see it's like the blue one is higher than the it is one that the high end and the green one is the low end, but actually it's like uh, almost overlap. So it's no like we are, can say that it's no signi uh, not significant. And for the overall vocal production behavior, like DK suffers even numeric. So which content common and well standard information like for the numerical is like at most two digit and no pronunciation issue. So here is an ANOVA for the previous slide. The insignificant of vocal production is confirmed also when the content type are omitted. So here the p-value is like 0 0.14. And in the collective case, uh, the p-value are lower and than the separate case like in the table two and three, it's like this, the p-value here is like lower than that. So this is more probably due to the increase of the number of the data point, which indicate that the larger data set is necessary to increase the reliability of this inference. So to confirm the annual results, we also like compute the effect site based on the Cohen D too. So we are going to the left hand side. We forgot so here we focus on like work production. So that is like between the altering and uh, another two case like free free and mounting as uh effect side does in like a small to medium scale. But however mounting and the free view have like an effect in the last scale. Then we take a look at onto the right side. So the numerical and the uh, Danish and Spanish have an effect in very large scale and uh, between ES and DK is have an effect in just like a small scale. So here is a conclusion of uh, our research. So 
our research indicate that there is no statistically significant difference in the correction rate between various vocal production behavior that we uh, assay, like free view mouthing and outling. But however, it is observed that with like outling, the words which are difficult to pronounce are uh, recall better than other in the statistically significant way that is like uh, Danish is always like recall better in when we do like altering. So this unexpected result indicated that there is a potential to increase the performance of the learner who study like unfamiliar verbal content like uh, when they study like foreign vocabulary while in integrating vocal production into e-learning system. So thank you for your attention.